Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. Hi. I don't know if you can see me. I, I guess can I'm... see you. We can okay. see Dan. Can you see us? I'm trying to do gallery. Okay, there we are. Oh, is Bailey Young there? I just saw a little chat box. Hi. 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 Uh, we're live on YouTube, everybody. Thank you. Bailey Young, we want to see Jack. He's asleep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lois, how do we do this? Oh, that's you. Hi. Side gallery. So do we have, is Bernice with us? Does yes. everybody have this, do you yes, think? Yes, Bernice is here, yep. okay. Okay. All right. Huh. Kathy, do you want to welcome everybody? I'm going to begin. I've got 9.18 p.m., so. Hey, Harvey <laughs> Davidson fan club. So everyone, once again, a good evening to you all. And thank you for joining us for this last official event of our historic 21st biennial virtual Boston Early Music Festival, <laughs> advertised as our champagne toast. What a fitting ending. I think you know by now I'm Kathy Fay the very, very proud executive director of this amazing organization. And I'm delighted you're here. For those less familiar with our festival week in Boston, typically on this final Sunday evening, following the last performance of our fully staged opera, artists and staff and members of the board of directors, friends, family members, and fans literally from all over the world gather at a local pub and toast one another while sharing favorite stories and memories of the week just past. These rollicking celebrations are always accompanied by food and drink and lots of laughter. And many Banff artists and dancers have been known to do what they love to do most, and that is entertain us with more music and more dance. Gathering on this internet stage is certainly no replacement for such a celebration, but I, I could not imagine ending our week without some final words of thanks and praise. So we'll hear from members of our artistic directorial team, as well as a few members of the board of directors. By now, I think we're all pretty familiar with how these <clears throat> cyberspace celebrations work best, but allow me to review just a few helpful points. For our toast in a minute, I hope you'll remain unmuted. If you've muted yourselves already, you may unmute yourself so that you may join your colleagues in a well-deserved and rousing congratulations. And after our cheering and foot stomping, I'd like you to please mute yourself again so that we can hear one another. If you'd like to say something, please raise your hand. We'd love to hear from you and I'll call on you. <laughs> For our friends in attendance who are not visible on this Zoom meeting internet stage, but who have kindly joined us on YouTube, please do not hesitate to participate. You're welcome to share your comments by using the YouTube chat feature. If you're watching on a smart TV, you can use a tablet, computer, or mobile device to find this video and follow the chat while watching on your TV. So again, remain unmuted for our toast and after the toast, I'll ask you to mute yourselves again. Tonight, I am filled with such pride. Quite simply, I cannot believe what we have accomplished together. Recalling the dark days of this past December and January, we were quite sure we did not simply want to skip an entire festival cycle and postpone our next biennial gathering to June of 2023, but we also knew we could not possibly gather in person for our previously announced June 2021 festival. The idea and decision to produce an all virtual week quickly emerged and certainly made sense, but I for one had no idea how we would actually accomplish this. The past several months have felt at times like building the plane as we fly. But thanks to my amazing coworkers on the BEM staff, I have to re repeat their names, Carla, Maria, Brian, Elizabeth, Perry, Corey, and Shannon. Thanks to our remarkable board of directors, 
Thanks to so many generous fans and friends around the world. And thanks to all of you, the artists and specialists who continually amaze us with your intelligence and grace and talent. We have, you have, once again, knocked the ball out of the park. Not only did ticket sales meet and exceed expectations, not only have our viewing statistics and viewing hours surpassed all predictions, not only did we experience one breathtaking performance after another, after another, after another, or illuminating talk or masterclass or presentation about an essential aspect of this great organization, but the countless emails and notes of appreciation from fans literally around the world have been heartwarming to say the very least. We have renewed many friendships. We've made many new friends. We have reaffirmed our status as the most important and influential early music event in the world. And most importantly, we have brought much needed solace and joy and comfort and happiness to so many. So for this, I'm going to raise my glass to all of you. I hope you'll do the same. <clears throat> my deepest thanks and congratulations to each one of you from the bottom of my heart. Cheers. 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 many feet. Before I turn the microphone over to yeah. Paul uh, and Steve and Robert and Melinda, and Glenn, Bernice, David, I would like to lift up one beloved member of the Bemp family whose feelings and gifts were felt throughout the week, but especially last Sunday as we enjoyed our archival presentation of the Compra Carnival de Venice, and again last night during our double bill of Pergolesi, and that is the amazing Anna Watkins. After 20 years of service to Banff as costume supervisor for three festivals and for seven festivals as costume designer, nine chamber operas, mm -hmm. seven fully staged productions, 19 operas in total, Anna retired at the conclusion of the 2019 festival. Anna, I don't believe I've seen you on the screen tonight or as the case may be this morning, it is 3.15 in the UK, but mm -hmm. please know that we were all, are all still overwhelmed, dazzled, impressed beyond words by your gorgeous costumes and for your astonishing contribution to BIMF. So here's to Anna as well. To Anna. 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 To Anna, cheers. Okay. Anna and her wax. Paul or Steve, can I turn things over to you? Sure, Paul, do you wanna go first? Sure, I, I, I would simply like to thank everybody involved in this unbelievable uh, project of of the last week and and especially Kathy and her staff for what must have been 20 hour day after 20 hour day after 20 hour day i imagine brian probably hasn't slept for weeks making sure that all of the videos were properly formatted were on the right platform at the right time there were so many videoed events that had to be lined up to to operate properly there were live events there of course were bound to be glitches where i heard from people you have to tell bemf that the website is not working and indeed i think there were a few seconds where there were where there were little glitches and being on call to put out all of those fires um everybody chipped in, but especially Kathy and Brian, just unbelievable work. And you have my everlasting gratitude. Of course, all of the staff were were present and almost everything uh, that we did this week, helping beside, behind the scenes. Many of you didn't see what they were doing, but just making sure that everything uh, ran well. And to my colleague artists, all of you who participated in the original projects that were videotaped and made it possible for, for these performances to be uh, viewed again. Again, thanks so much for 
all of the dedication, the hours and hours and hours of, of work, in particular, Steve and Gilbert and Robert and, and Melinda, we all know the 18 and 19 hour days we were putting in to put some of these projects together, like the Compra and the, and the Pergolese, and to all the amazing singers and dancers and instrumentalists who, who participated. Wow. I don't know about the rest of you, but I actually got to see all of the concerts this week. I haven't caught up with all of the master classes and, and uh, pre-concert talks, but I have seen all of the concerts and it was just a dazzling festival. And I never get to see anything in the festival because I'm always going from one performance of mine to a rehearsal of something else. So it was a, a real treat to get to experience the whole festival. And I think that this offered a unique opportunity to invite numerous European friends who might not have been able to have, have traveled and to have presented performances in spectacular locations. How often do you get to see a performance in Leonardo da Vinci's bedroom yeah. or the unbelievable organ of, of Arp Schnitger that, that Leo von Dosselar played. So I don't know if, if any of them will see this, but thanks so much to Catalina and, and Leo and Francesco and Eric and Carmen and so many others for making this such a memorable week. Cheers. Here. Cheers. <laughs> I, I just like to underline all the same um, destinations of gratitude that Paul just mentioned, Kathy and the staff, of course, the whole board who has supported us so wonderfully through all of our adventures, our, our colleagues, both the, on the directorial team here and, uh, and all the colleagues who were participated in the, in the wonderful productions we saw. I think when we um, sort of undertook to make this virtual festival, just like Kathy said, we all had no idea whether we could make it fly. Of course, Kathy's responsibilities go way beyond mine. I would just have the, the artistic point of view, but um, even from that point of view, it was hard to see exactly how we could make it work. But what gave us confidence was the, the outing with the uh, looking back at or Orpheus uh, in, in November made us think that indeed our, our archives are incredibly rich and uh, and worthy of being shown again. And uh, seeing them, seeing the Campra and the Pergolesi as an audience member now was an extremely moving experience for me because uh, I'd only seen it from the back essentially, or I'd only seen it from the pit. And uh, as we said in, in uh, our conversations about it, the, the attention that we're paying during the performances is very, very intense, but it's like very moment by moment. And so to be able to sit back and just take it in as one continuous dramatic delight, um, especially in, in Gilbert's magnificent uh, ideas about stagings uh, was just absolutely delightful. And I wanna say one further thing, which is that um, obviously when we do the the festival live, uh, as Paul said, we're, we're just in it minute by minute going one place and another doing every imaginable thing so the the idea of having a festival where we didn't contribute anything new to it was hard to take and so we proposed to, to do these new concerts the 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 Handel concert and the Monteverdi concert and I'm extremely grateful to Kathy and the team and the board for supporting us in making that new content even under the conditions of certain restrictions from COVID um, the ability to make some new content was just life-giving to all of us. So thanks to everyone. Here, here. Here. I'll just add to that that um, this is the first BEMF I've ever gone through where I wasn't completely exhausted at the end of the week, <laughs> which is unbelievable. It's also the first BEMF I've ever been through where I actually got to see the whole spectacle that the audience sees. And it's just absolutely extraordinary. Um, and it also really brought home to me as both Paul and Steve have been saying that, that we who are involved in it, we never really get to see the, the results of all, all our efforts. And one thing that really, re 
came very home to me was that this is an extraordinary community and extraordinary family. And just to see our orchestra together, to see our dancers together, to see our chorus and singers, it's incredibly touching. And I'm so, so, so glad that this is a part of our lives. And bless you, Kathy, bless you, the staff, for making this all possible. Linda? Yes. I'm so thankful to my colleagues and to the board that I could once again use my imagination and make something, create something, share my joy within the dance and music world. So thank you all very much. Excellent. Excellent. Glenn, I know you're here with us somewhere. Does that come I'm, right? I'm right here. Um, I have a couple things I wanted to say, if, if I may. Um, you know, change is always hard. And usually when something changes, the first thing that, that you do is you do something like you did it before, but you only change things a little bit. Think of cars. You know, they started out as carriages with horses. They got rid of the horses, but the thing was still a carriage. <laughs> it looked like a carriage. It's even called a horseless carriage. And, and it took some years, some decades, actually, before it became something of its own. Uh, Benth skipped that step. They went right straight to uh, something marvelous and different from just, you know, putting a camera in front of a stage uh, as if you're the audience and, and watching it, which so many other things on the web have been. Um, I, I'm particularly impressed with the kinds of things that happened, like, like I already mentioned, Leonardo da Vinci's bedroom in the Hofburg uh, uh, Palace Chapel, which you know, how often do you get to hear things in there? Uh, tonight, it's a Troy Savings Bank, which is a, you know, is a monument of, of the famous acoustics over the years. Uh, I've never heard anything from there. Uh, uh, a Bach organ that sound, apparently sounds very close to what Bach would have heard. How, we can't, we, you know, we can't bring that to Boston. Uh, the use of um, Fraser, the recording studio for the uh, the two BIMP concerts, uh, in, in very creative ways. It's just quite quite marvelous, uh, and I think BIMP should be, you know, particularly remarked for having kind of skipped the, <laughs> oh, let's just do it like we did it before. Um, and in another thing, another way, that same thing is is, is Kathy and, and the, the board su supporting her to keep the prices low, to try to do something, you know, to make lemonade out of lemons, to keep the prices low and to attract um, an audience that might not otherwise come both geographically and, and just from a, a just kind of a, a feeling point of view. I, I'm remarked about a neighbor that we have that I never could get her to go to any of our concerts. I don't know that she thought of, uh, of uh, early music as something left over from Renaissance Fair music, but uh, she never said it quite that way. But she's, she's seen several things this, this year and has loved it all together um, and has been remarkably interested. And of course, she's, she hopefully will become a good donor of ours. So that, that there's been another uh, kind of remarkable shift in this year. And the last thing I wanna say is that uh, this BEMP, this festival, I think portrayed the full, you know, kind of spectrum of the BEMP enterprise of the BEMP vision, uh, you know, Belinda, the, the, the history or the retrospective of, of the dance, uh, the Young Artist Program, uh, the master classes, all of the, the, the organ mini festival, keyboard mini festival, uh, the fringe, the exhibition, those things not all of us get to see. I remember somebody once told me that if you watched all the fringe concerts in any given year in a BEMF, you would have a complete picture of the current, uh, current snapshot of where early music is. I think I get to go to one or two fringe events, a festival. Um, and I think many of us have that, that problem. Uh, we can do them all next week <laughs> or the next month. Is, so uh, here, here to every, this has been a remarkable achievement for everyone and um, yeah, a lot of work and the, the, the work paid off. So thank you. Great, thank you, Glenn. Yeah. David Walsh, are you with us? I am with you. Okay. <laughs> so I, I, I echo all of the wonderful things that have been said, you know, as a, a concert goer myself and someone who enjoys the Fringe Festival, it's been delightful not to have competing interests between the Fringe Festival and these concerts. And like Steve, I, I watched everything, including things that, you know, I might not have trudged halfway across town to see uh, in a physical festival. 
And some of the things that, you know, I thought, oh, I'm not sure I really like this repertoire turned out to be some of my favorite concerts because the performances were, were so fantastic. Uh, and really, I, I think to a, to a single concert, everything I saw was just so fantastic and so unique and so, so very BEMF. Uh, so it, it, it's been a pleasure to see that unfold over the week. And, uh, you know, unlike a regular festival year, I don't have to go cold turkey. I can keep watching them over the next few weeks and savor every last drop of it. Um, and I want to thank all of the performers who, you know, tried something new, did something that's that's not normal and tried to find their own way to acknowledge the end of the concert with without any applause. It, it was uh, it was fun to see that. I'm sure it was not fun to experience. Uh, but hopefully in two years, we'll uh, give you all of the applause that you deserve. Nice. Thank you, David. I want to just shout out to Gilbert, of course, who can't be with us for the same the same reason, 315 in, in Europe, but a, a special toast and thanks to Gilbert for his astonishing work. Bernice, I know I saw, yes, you're, you're with us. I don't know if you're muted, but our incredible, amazing chairman of the board, Bernice Chen. If you're with us, I'd love to have you say a few words. She's on mute. Yes, Bernice is muted. Can you unmute her? I can't. Brian, can you unmute Bernice? We can send her a message asking her to unmute, which we've done. Okay. So we can't unmute her. Okay. While we're waiting for Bernice to unmute, would anybody else like to say anything at this point? Come on, guys, don't be bad. I'll, I'll, go, I'll oh. go ahead and say. Lee. Yes. Um, I just want to thank everyone for all of the wonderful, wonderful work putting this together, which was a great week. And uh, unlike Robert, I was worn out. <laughs> <laughs> Between the, the, the wonderful thing about virtual festivals is you can watch them anytime, but also you still have your daily life to carry on. But anyway, that was my problem. But I think everything came off with a quality that was much higher than I expected and the consistency they're just across the board. And I want to say that I've heard some from, from various friends who have been watching this week too. And all of them have just been absolutely superlatives, com complete superlatives all over. And I wanted to say particularly about the Compra. Um, I have these two friends who are, if there were rabid, well, they are rabid opera fans usually of the very romantic variety, Wagner, Verdi, and such, but they've gotten very much in with them over the years, gotten very much into Baroque opera. And their comment to me in an email after the compra was, eat your heart out, Met. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and that's the kind of thing it was. Uh, the possibility of people being able to view these things that wouldn't otherwise, I mean, you know, it astounds me or doesn't astound me, but I, I think it's very gratifying for everyone that we have viewers from all over the world and viewers that would not ever have a chance to see these sorts of things. So this is sort of a missionary work, which being a board member and an enthusiast, how do we keep this sort of presence going on from here on out? Um, I think one of the real delights was seeing the various venues that people were performing in and the intimacy that that gave, um, where you had a very close up view of not only the ensemble, but individual performers, particularly watching Benjamin Allard on the clavichord and on the organ and such. Uh, those sorts of views for a keyboard player like me were just absolutely wonderful. and other players and other ensembles when they had their close-ups. I think that brought the music a lot closer to us and probably more of a feeling of the kind of chamber or 
house concert that it would have been much of it would have been performed in originally. And I think that's an extremely important thing for this kind of music to be able to hear. So again, thank you for everyone for your hard work. I know what you were going through technically, the, it was what, like making it up as you go along and you did it quite well. So thank you. Thanks so much, Lee. Really nice. Bernice, I noticed you are yes. unmuted. I, I found my unmute button. Thank you. Uh, before the week began, I could not imagine what a virtual festival would be like. I desperately wanted to see all you performers right here in Boston where I put my arms around you and tell you I loved your performance. But as, it, as our theme predicted, there, were, there was solace and there were many joys, totally unexpected for me, I should say. And I was found joy in the fact of how many artists sought out amazing venues, as been mentioned before, seeing Dulce Memoir play in Da Vinci's house and seeing Benjamin Allard in that instrument museum in the French countryside, where certainly I never knew the museum was there and it's unlikely I would ever get there. And seeing him talk so intimately with the curator about his music and why he chose the music and the meaning of the instrument. And then he brought it all home to Boston when he said, this was the very instrument that Dolmich copied when he worked in Boston at the Chittering Piano Company. And I thought, oh my God, we're part of a lineage. Benf is only 40 years old, but we owe back and we owe forward. So this gave me oost pumps to think that we had this intimate connection to this beautiful instrument, which was played so spectacularly beautiful in that performance, and that we had used our current technology to send this old instrument sounding so beautiful around the world for everyone to enjoy. I just thought we've accomplished something so amazing that I could not have imagined. So I want to thank all the directors and artists and Kathy and staff for plunging into the unknown with such courage and commitment and to give us all a chance to have a wonderful festival that I totally did not expect, really. Thank you. Thank you, Bernice. Here's to Bernice. So I need to once again ask if anybody else would like to say anything. Don't be shy. I'd like to say something. Hello. Um, we've we've been, all been talking about how all the artists rose to the occasion. And um, I'm sure you had to do some things very differently than you would have done otherwise. And also you, you've you told us how you got to see yourselves, which, which is a different thing. And I'd like to ask a question is, is, is there something that each of you will do differently now in a live performance because you've been through this experience? Maybe the answer to this question has to come uh, over the year, but I'd really like to know the answer. I'm planning on not wearing a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Lo Lois, I'll say one of my takeaways is uh, there's always so much energy and chaos in the backstage element of the performance that it can be really hard. You can lose track of the um, beauty and sort of placidness of the scene and getting to watch it from the outside um, for the first time really helps me trust that, that every, you know, everything can be going to hell in a handbasket um, backstage when we're all changing outfits and wigs and and craziness and it really you know we have to like believe that the audience really doesn't get any of that energy um that that made me sort of trust my my art more thank you good and um kathy i'd like to also say while i'm unmuted um i got a chance to watch the young artist training program video which is still available for those of you who haven't watched it yet um and I understand also after uh, seeing Kathy Whitman yesterday that um, you guys at the office were primarily responsible for sort of um, really creating that. And I just wanna say bravo, it was great work. I was super pleased. And um, those of you who don't know, this, is the, this would have been the 10th anniversary of our Young Artist Training Program. And um, I'm really proud not only of the work that I've been involved in, but 
in the work that's been building in the program for years now. Um, and I know we have two of our former young artists here on the Zoom with us tonight. Um, we're so proud of them and the work that they're doing and, and also sort of expanding the, the energy and love of the family here. And Ellen also as a, a former um, young artist training program uh, associate director, um, you know, we have a lot of love here for the next generation and we wanna be able to show them to all of you um, in their best light moving forward. So um, thank you for that. And thank you for the work that the office did in preparing that. You're here, cheers. cheers. Very nice. I, you just mentioned Kathy Whitman and I believe I see her name on the screen. Kathy, I don't know if you're willing to say a word or two or, or um, turn off your, yeah, there you are. Turn off your um I'm here. Um, Believe it or not, I am still running from place to place. I'm in the car. Mel's driving. Hi, Hi everybody. <laughs> don't, Bravo. don't crash. Kathy, on to the tools. We <laughs> an extraordinary thanks for making us look so beautiful. Kathy Whitman, our videographer. Wow. MVP of this festival. Thank you, Kathy. Right. Thank you so much. It's quite moving to hear Stephen Stubb say, our archives are wonderful. And then I say, oh my gosh, I have to make the archives wonderful. <laughs> Stephen Stubb thinks they're wonderful. I have to live up. <laughs> but um, Benf is always a treat and a pleasure. And I have to say, I was so, in, I was so anxious and worried and, and working so hard at, at making the things, the operas read, the other things. I was blown away by what you guys accomplished. It was, I'm so proud of my contribution to it, but um, we all made, huh? It's really impressive. So as always, grateful to be a part of it. Thanks, Kathy. So Kathy, uh, Kathy Whitman, uh, this is Glenn. Um, as you know, I always tell you at about this particular time in the festival to go buy some more advanced cameras. <laughs> Those, those cameras yes. work really well, and, and and now we get to get, get to step up. I mean, uh, this has been kind of a joke There's between no red us. Camera. Yeah. <laughs> did it, and you know, I did. I told Kathy, I said, "Well, Glenn, I've upgraded to 4K. I bought all new cameras. I struggled a little bit with them. I said, you know, this is it would have been easier to stick with the old stuff, but it's time. It's time to take Benf to the new." New world. So here we yes. Go. <laughs> well, and congratulations. It uh, it shows and uh, and affect the even the stuff from the older uh, cameras that uh, some of the very old archive things that we saw uh, look pretty good. And um, and I know you and I can find a codex to make them look even better. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm in. Benf Max. I don't know who said that. Yeah, uh, Robert. I'm in. <laughs> also, Robert, I took your tiredness. I got all your tiredness. I don't know. I need a nap. <laughs> anyone else would like to say anything? Maria, you mentioned that you have, that you, you would like a minute. I do. Uh oh. I sense a prop. She's running away. Oh, wow. Well, want to say a big hi. Ah, Hey, that's really sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. Hey. 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 She broke frame. That was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and they're alive and healthy. They are alive. Unlike the unlike <laughs> the flowers from the, in the background here, which are actually quite dead and droopy, but I was hoping nobody would notice. Anyway. Kathy, um, now your face is the color of those roses. Oh, that's, that's, always my problem. I turn red, you know, at, at any moment. It's, it, it means I'm either very embarrassed, I'm scared stiff, or I'm lying. <laughs> um, anyway, does anybody else have anything to say? Because I just wanted to, to wrap up. I suggested this would be about 20 minutes. I wanted to remind all of you, if you haven't seen all of the performances, the operas, the concerts, the master classes, Laura's unbelievable lecture de lecture demonstration laura jepson thank you the dance retrospective the dance workshop melinda golly, carlos caroline marie nat you guys blew me away um gilbert's amazing young artist training program with all the young artists the um pre-concert talks the post-concert talks i see susie clark on the screen susie an amazing 
amazing talk by you, Kathy Trosi, an amazing talk by you. Ellen Harris is not here, but a, a fabulously interesting talk before the Handel concert, post-concert talks, post-opera talks, and I have to say yesterday's Engaging Communities program where young recorder players from Boston, New York, New Jersey, Seattle, and Kenya, Africa, performed for us. All of these events are still available and will be through and including July 11th. And you really should take the time to, to watch every single solitary one. Crystal, I see your hand up. Yes, I wanted to say I'm so grateful that everything will be up um, for another three weeks, is it? Yeah. Uh, because I have spent day after day trying to think who else can I contact? Who else can I write to a personal Great. note saying you must see this? Um, students who have now been on, you know, in, in transit from one place to another, which uh, who have finally arrived at their home or wherever they're going. And so I'm going to be notifying all of them said, make sure you've heard it. If you haven't heard it yet, make sure you do. Um, and so I, I've been, I've been basically thinking about how many people I could still contact Great. so that they can all see the riches of, of what Ben has to offer. Excellent. Well, that was that was our point. We, we thought, you know, it's unfair to think in beautiful June with the weather as gorgeous as it is here in New England, it's not fair to think that people are going to sit in front of their computers or iPads or TVs morning, noon and night for a full week. So let's just make it available for the entire month. And that's that's paid off. I think that's 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 going to work well. I also should remind all of you that our fringe concerts start tomorrow. We have another entire week planned, a beautiful week, thanks to Carla Crisfield's amazing management of that program. Some 30 recorded video concert performances are about 45 minutes each. They mostly take place in the evening. They're all available on our website to learn more. They're offered free of charge and they will be offered through September of 2021. So is Andrew Siegel on the screen? I'm having a hard time seeing who's here. He's not. He's not, okay. Well, Andrew, cheers to you. Am I forgetting anybody? Any hands up or folks wanting to say a final word? No. Only the biggest thank you to Kathy Fay for making all this magic happen. Hey. Kathy Fay! Hey. 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 Red face again. <laughs> I will um, see you soon, I hope, in person. But if not, June 4th through 11th, 2023, a celebration <laughs> of women. Woohoo! Sounds good. <laughs> All we'll right. Be there. be there. Thanks, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. 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 bye.